Imagine traveling the world in a whole new way, aboard a mega yacht that feels like your own private ship with luxurious details at every turn without all the crowds. Where you know each and every meal is going to be bursting with flavors and fresh, seasonal and locally sourced ingredients for a truly world-class culinary experience, and onboard entertainment that further immerses you in each of your destinations all helmed by a friendly crew that truly makes you feel right at home. This is the Windstar experience, unlike any other cruise you've ever embarked on. Come along with me as I show you how Windstar truly is 180 degrees from ordinary. Well, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going on yet another cruise with a brand new cruise line, at least brand new to me. They've been around for a little bit. I'm on board the Star Legend with Windstar Cruises this week and I'm getting to check out their brand new Winter in the Mediterranean itinerary. This is literally their first sailing of this itinerary and I think this is such a cool opportunity to get to come and experience the Mediterranean during a time of year where it's off season, the crowds will be lower, and you get to just see the Mediterranean in a different light. We happen to be here a couple weeks before Christmas so I'm personally really excited to get to see all of these different port stops in all of their Christmas glory. This itinerary includes stops in Rome, Livorno, Nice, Marseille, and Barcelona. We're currently on the ship in Rome. We got in a couple days ago and checked into the ship and then took our overnight bags into Rome. I'm gonna take you guys along with me, see where this fun Mediterranean winter cruise takes us. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, let me take you guys back to the beginning of our trip. We flew into the Rome airport, grabbed our bags, and from there got into our arranged transfer that took us to the Civita Vecchia port to get onto the Star Legend cruise ship. From there, the check-in process was super easy and we were ready to get on board the Star Legend and begin our Mediterranean adventure. Upon entering the ship, you're greeted with this stunning, winding staircase that just evokes glamour and luxury. Windstar also has a really great sun deck with plenty of chairs and a small infinity pool and hot tub where you can come and enjoy the sunshine, though this is the winter time, so I don't know how much of that we will be enjoying on this particular cruise. Here's a little room tour. We were staying in a balcony suite on the Star Legend and immediately when you walk in, you notice how just big the cabin is and luxurious it feels. Definitely way more spacious than other cruise ship cabins that I've stayed on before. I loved this whole sitting area that they had that was sort of separate from the bedroom area. It was really nice to have that sort of separated area where you could go and sit, read a book, chill, relax, maybe eat some room service. So it was really nice to have that amount of space in the room. Of course, being that it's a balcony suite, you do get a small little balcony attached to your room. It's pretty much just big enough to go and stand out on. We also had a really nice sized closet, which I really appreciated. And it of course comes with a safe. They have a laundry service on board. And then I love that the bathroom seemed really spacious. It didn't feel super claustrophobic, like again, other cruise ship bathrooms would feel. That is very soft. Yeah. I feel that. All right, we got all settled in our cabin. Now we're gonna go check out the ship and uh, get our bearings and uh, let's see what the Star Legend's all about. First things first, after such a long trek from Los Angeles, we were hungry and needed sustenance. So we headed into the Veranda restaurant, which is on the back of the ship. This is where you can come and grab breakfast. You can grab lunch throughout the day. And then at nighttime, this area transforms into the restaurant called Candles. They had so much yummy food to choose from when we got there around 1.30 or so. And it was so nice to just eat some real food and not airplane food after such a long trek to Italy. So because we're kind of here on a media trip, they have quite a few of the different types of suites and cabins open for us to go in and take a look at. So I'm gonna go check them all out so you guys can see the different options of cabins that you can book if you take a Windstar cruise here on the Star Legend. 
This is the Broadmoor Suite, which is inspired by Windstar's sister property, the Broadmoor Hotel, located in Colorado Springs, Colorado. The layout is so spacious with a whole dedicated living and dining space and separate bedroom. The decor is reflective of that of the Broadmoor, which is known for its endless adventures and European elegance paired with Western charm and mountain vistas. I really love the decor in this bedroom. The wallpaper with the headboard and all the decor touches just really spoke to me. This suite also has a very similar size bathroom to the one in our suite and of course is newly renovated as all the bathrooms are on this ship. Wow, this one has two bathrooms. It has like a half bath in here. Wow. Across the hall, you'll find the Sea Island Suite, which is inspired by another Windstar sister property, Sea Island, located in coastal Georgia. This suite has elegant touches that evoke the property's design, including curved arches, light walls, and sophisticated wood furnishings. The overall look is very coastal and airy. You like this one better? Yeah, I like more of the uh, darker colors. This feels more cozy. So this stateroom, as well as the one that we were just in, they are basically mirrored uh, layouts of each other. But the decor is definitely very different in both of them. I really preferred the last one, and Nate loves this one because it just feels a little bit more, a little bit more masculine in a way, but still very elegant. This is the porthole suite, probably the most affordable suite on the ship. It is the same square footage as our balcony suite at 277 square feet, but the layout is very similar. The decor does seem like it's a little bit more modernized, so it's still a fantastic option if you wanted to go for something a little bit more on the economical side. This is one of the porthole suites. This is a level down from the suite that we are in. The biggest difference, obviously, is you don't have that small balcony. You just have these little portholes. But yeah, Nate just pointed out it would be crazy when you're sailing to like look out and see uh, the waves just crashing because you are on like a lower level in the porthole suites. So definitely you get a different vantage point and view when you're in one of these for sure. This has got to be the biggest cabin. It's huge. You got like a full on, like there's like a full on a living room. Bath. The owner's suite midship is definitely one of the most luxe suites on board at 820 square feet. It's basically like having your own apartment on board with a large living room area, balcony, dining area, half bath, and then its own separate bedroom. This layout is also the same as the most luxe suite on board, which is the grand owner's suite. But in that case, you would have one or two bedrooms added on to what you see here. Definitely great for a family or a small group that's traveling together. The other touch that I think makes this suite so luxe is they have original artwork hung on the walls throughout the suite, which is so nice. Oh my God, it keeps going. Oh, wow. Now this is what I'm talking about. Hey, outfit mirror. <laughs> this one has its own bathtub and separate shower. His and her vanities and separate room for the toilet. This one is like living the life. If you love to stay in shape while on vacation, Windstar has a fitness center. They offer daily classes here like yoga and Pilates. Across the hall, you'll find a fully equipped weight and cardio room. also can find a fully equipped salon on board. So whether or not you want to get a blowout or get your hair done, you can get a trim and even get a full color. They have got you covered on board. They also have a nail salon here. So if you forgot to get that mani or pedi before you came on your trip, you can definitely take care of it here. Windstar also has a spa where you can truly indulge in some serious pampering. You can book numerous different massage or facial packages or come and enjoy the thermal rooms for a moment of serenity and relaxation. This is the Yacht Club. This is a nice common lounge area that you can come up on the top deck of the ship. They have all kinds of great areas that you can sit. They have a whole library with um, a bunch of travel books so you can read up on any of the destinations you may be visiting while on your cruise. And they also have some 
fiction books as well that you can read while on your voyage if you forgot your book, which is great. Right behind me, they have a whole wall of board games that you can pull out and play. And then they also have a coffee bar and little snack bar right over here. So if you ever need caffeine or a quick snack during the day, this is definitely the place to come. But it's very comfortable. The decor is just very elegant and chic. We've, I think we've explored most of the ship. After getting acquainted with the ship, we packed some overnight bags and headed out for the train station. Technically, your first stop here is Rome, but the Civita Vecchia port is pretty far from the historic city center, so we decided to book a hotel room in the city for a night to be able to fully take advantage of our overnight stop here. And I really recommend you do that because otherwise you're gonna be spending a lot of time going to and from Rome. I'm validated. You can also book shore excursions through Windstar that will take you into Rome, but we decided to do our own thing. And if you want to see how we got to Rome via the train and the public transportation system, check out my separate vlog, which I'll have linked in the description box. Navigating uh, public transportation in other countries is always a little bit of an adventure. Uh, <laughs> we'll get there eventually. <laughs> we made it to Rome. That was a commitment. Very small little room, but very high ceilings. Very chic. Love. One thing I was very excited about on this cruise was getting to see Europe during the Christmas season and getting to go to European Christmas markets. This was the one that we found in Rome. And again, if you want to see more of what we got up to, you can definitely check out that Rome vlog that I created. Well, good morning. I don't know if you can hear me over the roar of the fountain, but Aisha and I woke up bright and early to come out to the Trevi Fountain to do a little photo shoot. If you want to come to the Trevi Fountain and have basically no one in your photo, you have to wake up at the crack of dawn and you have to get there before sunrise. And now we're awake and we're ready to get the rest of our day here in Rome started. for a couple minutes just to grab some photos outside of it. The line actually doesn't look too bad today for the Coliseum. But when we came in the summertime, it was absolute insanity, but I would recommend no matter what to get a skip the line ticket in advance. It's been really fun, a little bit less than 24 hours here in Rome. But we just got on, technically this is night two of the cruise. We are leaving Rome tonight and we're arriving at our next stop tomorrow morning. So we're gonna go check out the sail away party. Let me just throw some royalty free, similar music over this ceremony because I got copyrighted, but this is such a fun ceremony that they do on Windstar when they sail away, so definitely don't miss out on it. It definitely has a lot of drama and pomp and circumstance, but it also makes you feel like you're about to go on some kind of great adventure. I think I said it right, finally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the ship is definitely moving tonight. <laughs> Whew. For our first dinner on board the ship, we headed to the bottom floor to Amphora restaurant. By the way, if you didn't know, Windstar has a partnership with the James Beard Foundation, so you know all the food is going to be delicious. Amphora is basically the ship's main dining room. This is where you can come and grab dinner any night that you're on the ship without a reservation. The great news is they change up the menu every day, so you'll never feel like you're bored or having to choose between the same menu items. After dinner, we headed to Compass Rose for a nightcap. Compass Rose is where you can come every night for live entertainment and music, and also this is where they have a sort of lounge and bar that you can hang out in. Thank 
This is our room. <laughs> it's pretty rocky. You've got mail. And our bed's towel. With the chocolate. Chocolates. Okay. The ship is really going. Uh, I don't know if that's because it's stormy out there or because it's a smaller ship, so you're just going to feel it more. If you're a little bit prone to seasickness, you might want to bring some bands with you or motion sickness patches just to play it safe. I haven't used any yet because I think I'm okay, but can definitely feel it. But we just came back to our room and they had this the sheets turned down and this little piece of paper on the bed and it said, did you know an expression used in Italy is patinare le bambole, and I'm probably mispronouncing that. Literal translation, to comb the doll's hair. Combing a doll's hair is pretty low on the list of things an adult could do with their free time. This is why this idiom is used a lot when someone wastes time doing useless activities that don't contribute to an end goal. Patinare le bambole, if you wanna, okay? And if I butchered that Italian, please don't come for me. On the morning of day three, we sailed into the port of Livorno, which is the port city that will get you into the Tuscany region of Italy. From here, you can take a day trip to Florence, but we chose to do it a little bit of an easier trip and head to Pisa. About like a mile from the train station to the Tower of Pisa. Pisa is a super easy 20 minute train ride from Livorno. And if you wanna see exactly what we did on our little DIY excursion, you can definitely check the description box for our dedicated Pisa vlog. Now we can say we went to the top of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. We did it. Of course, one of the highlights for me on this stop was getting to visit Pisa's Christmas market, which was very quaint. Lots of really fun things that they had for sale from local vendors and vintage pieces, old records. We took a little spin on the carousel, and then I took a little spin on the ice because as a figure skater, I can't resist. Oh, I can I can barely skate with you. The ice is halfway melted. The skates are less than hockey skates. I'm already not good on hockey skates, but these are pretty bad. There's no edges. Going doing anything on one foot is a little bit risky. Ice try. Hey, I tried. We had a successful day in Pisa. We're about to get on our train, so I'm gonna put you guys away, but uh yeah, ciao. On the ship just in time for our reservations at Candles, which is one of the specialty dining options on Star Legend. In the evening, the buffet restaurant veranda transforms into Candles, which is a beautiful fine dining experience. You'll definitely want to come to this restaurant multiple times, so be sure to go to guest services to make your reservations. I would say the food here is more like your traditional steakhouse fare with plenty of seafood options as well. And then we went to Compass Rose after dinner for a nightcap and some live music, and the band definitely got everybody dancing tonight. sort of habit to come up to the yacht club in the morning and grab myself a cup of coffee. They have a little coffee shop up here, so if you ever need coffee or like a quick little snack, they have pre-made sandwiches and pastries and different things like that. Reading library, so they have a nice selection of some fiction books, which I took one. I read the guest list by this author a couple months ago. Um, so the Paris apartment seemed really fun, anything Paris, and I'm always interested. They also have a lot of great little travel books over on the other wall, so you can grab one if you happen to be in one of the destinations um, and get some information on where you are, which I think is really cool. So I grabbed this French one so I could read up a little bit on Nice. Really excited to be in France. I've been practicing my French on Duolingo for a couple weeks to prepare myself and excited to go out and see Nice, and I think we may take the train in Dez, so definitely check out my separate port vlogs if you want to see more detailed uh, info on what we get up to in the ports here on our Mediterranean cruise. Bonjour! I'm just 
walking around in France vlogging and people are staring at me already. This is our first time in Nice. I'm so excited. We're here overnight, which is a great perk of Windstar. They do overnights in quite a few of their ports. So we have plenty of time to check out this beautiful little city in the French Riviera. So let's go explore Nice. In our first day in Nice, we decided to go explore the medieval village of Ez, which is about a 25 minute cab or ride share ride up the mountains. You can also take the train or a bus up here if you'd prefer to do that. And like all of our other port stops, I have a whole video dedicated on what we did while we were in Nice. So if you're interested in that, you can head to the description box to find the link to watch that next. So we've just been walking around the old town exploring and uh, came over to this market. This one is the best one we've seen so far on our cruise. It's really big. Now this is Christmassy. We definitely got in the Christmas sphere at the Christmas market and when we headed back to the ship we were delighted to find that there was some local French entertainment on board for us. day of exploring Nice, we definitely work up an appetite. So we went to Quadro 44, which is another specialty dining concept on board the Star Legend that you will need a reservation to try. This is a Spanish tapas inspired menu and I really, really enjoyed this restaurant. I think it was probably my favorite place that we ate while we were on board the ship. I loved all the flavors and the different cocktails that they had on this menu. And I am always such a fan of Spanish tapas style food, so it was just right up my alley. Don't forget to save room for the churros. On our second morning in Nice, it was actually nice enough outside to be able in to enjoy the outdoor seating area of veranda for our breakfast. And I knew it was going to be such a beautiful sunny day to continue to explore Nice. One thing I love about Windstar is because their ships are on the smaller side, you're able to get into smaller ports, which means you're able to also get to your destination and explore faster. It really helps you feel like you're more immersed in that destination. We had a little bit of a slow start, a little bit tired, just decided to take a little walk around the coast and come up to Castle Hill as our first stop today. And you can get an incredible view of all of Nice. Definitely worth the trip up here. Crunchy and buttery and flaky. While we still had several hours that we could be out in Nice, we decided to head back early just because we were a little tired from such a packed trip so far and we wanted to enjoy the ship a little bit more during the daytime. One thing that is really cool about Windstar is they have an open bridge policy so you can actually go in and uh, check out the bridge, watch them like steer the ship, operate the ship. They have all kinds of really interesting information in there on whale watching and Windstar is all about education. So you can ask them questions. So I've never got to do this on any other cruise line I've ever been with. So I'm really excited. Let's pop in there and uh, check out the bridge. Hi. <laughs> Thanks. 
Not only can you come up to the bridge and learn all about how they navigate, but you, they also have seating areas like this where you can come up and really just enjoy a cup of coffee and take everything in. They also have a telescope that you can come in and do some stargazing at night if you'd like to. And it is a really cool experience to get to come in here and see how everything works. Here on deck. So far it feels really nice out here today with the sun out. So try to go grab a cocktail and get in the hot tub. Soup, 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 soup. soup, soup. <laughs> <laughs> It smells really good. It's like pick, pick your poison. You like that smells amazing. I also do a uh, regional drink of the day every day up here at the outdoor bar on the top deck, which is a really cool thing to do. So we came in a little while ago and there were some fun little chocolates in our room. These are Chef's House Made Chocolate Ginger and Coconut Grand Marnier candies. So I think I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine from our mini bar because we have the unlimited package that includes unlimited drinks as well as covers gratuities, unlimited Wi-Fi, port fees, and other things. Um, so I'm just gonna help myself to the little mini red wine bottle that's here and try out this delicious looking chocolate. Speaking of the all-inclusive package, I highly recommend you get it. It's $89 per person per day, and it really just takes all the guesswork out of your trip and just lets you enjoy yourself fully. Had dinner at Candles yet again because, y'all, I told you, you have to go more than once. It's just so good. Good morning. Today we are in Marseille. This is starting our morning at the Cathedral de la Major. In Marseille, our ship was docked almost right in the old port. I've been to Marseille on another cruise before on a larger ship and it had to be in the newer port, which meant that we had to do about a 20 minute bus ride into the old town. So again, it was really cool that our Windstar ship could fit into this smaller port so we could be in Marseille quicker and just start enjoying our day. One highlight from our day in Marseille was we got to check out the Festival of Santons, which is a traditional Christmas market here in Marseille that consists of a lot of different artisans who make these little small figurines for nativity scenes. So if you wanna learn more about that, check the description box, of course, because I have a whole vlog about our time in Marseille and I have another Port Day vlog from a summertime trip as well. Mm, thank you. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> Au revoir, Marseille. <laughs> 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 Shameful of me, but I almost went this entire cruise and never ordered room service breakfast. I know, but I remedied that on our last morning for sure. Bienvenidas a Barcelona. I spoke French in France and Aisha is our resident uh, Spanish speaker so she gets to communicate here in uh, Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> this is our last port on our cruise and we're pretty tired so we just decided there's a hop on hop off bus here let's just get it for the day and take it for the day and just take it easy so get off where we want. Let me know in the comments if you're a fan of the hop on hop off tourist buses. I have my own opinions which I discuss in my Barcelona vlog from this trip which of course you can check out in the description box, but I'm curious to know what you guys think about that. We definitely had a great day in Barcelona and I got to check off some things that I have never done before, like go to a flamenco show. And if you 
you're into Christmas markets, the one in Barcelona is literally right next to the port and it was so fun and huge. The good news is when you disembark from the ship in the port of Barcelona, it's so easy to get a taxi almost right away and the ride to the airport is just about 20 minutes or so, give or take with traffic. So there's really no need to worry about getting a transfer like you would need when you go to Civita Vecchia. Well, clearly I'm home now. We had the most epic trip with Windstar and honestly going right before Christmas was like the best Christmas gift I could have ever given to myself. Just a few closing thoughts about our cruise to wrap things up. First of all, I really enjoyed the Windstar experience. If you've ever been on a bigger cruise line like Virgin or Norwegian or Princess Carnival, just understand that Windstar is gonna be a completely different experience from any of those cruise lines. You're not gonna have the crazy like Vegas style entertainment or like super wide variety of restaurants. Um, and you're certainly not gonna have overcrowded pools and common areas. So there's definitely pros and cons. Windstar is definitely for you if you are more focused on the actual destination that your cruise is taking you to rather than focusing on the cruise experience itself. And that's really Windstar's goal as well, because they really are more about getting you into that destination veniently and quickly so that you can truly experience where you're going. The one thing I will say about this cruise is you do have to sort of figure out how to pace yourself because there are absolutely no sea days on this itinerary. Every single morning you're waking up in a new port. And so I, as you saw throughout the vlog, we got a little bit tired. So definitely keep that in mind. I looked at the schedule for this winter Mediterranean cruise coming up in the 2024-25 season, and it seems like they've added an extra port stop into the itinerary between Livorno and Nice, where you get to stop in Genoa, Italy, which I would have just loved if we could have gone there because I've never been to Genoa. We had an incredible time on Windstar. I would highly recommend taking a Windstar cruise and just getting that experience of being on a smaller ship. It's definitely more luxurious. The crew to passenger ratio is almost like a one-to-one -one ratio and you truly feel that on Windstar. I felt very well taken care of the entire time that we were on board the ship. If you're still watching this video, Thank you so much for hanging in and big thank you to Windstar for hosting my husband and I on such an incredible trip. Make sure if you haven't checked out our port stops, I'll put our playlist with all of the different port stops right here so you can check that out next and get some ideas of things to do while you're in the port. Make sure to subscribe for more fun travel vlogs like this one. I'll see you guys over here and if not, I will see you on the next video. Bye!